Hey, what is going on, everyone? My name's Ike Cameronite, and I am pumped because it's possible that Modern Warfare 2 is becoming over backwards compatibility on the Xbox One. Now, we need another reason to actually use that goddamn console. But let's get straight into what we're getting all these rumors and feedback from. So basically, everything's coming from Reddit, as everything always does. Now, if you remember, I would say maybe three weeks or a little bit over a month ago, there was a rumor about Modern Warfare 2 being shown on the Xbox One. Basically, it's a Microsoft store, you click it, and you can do those details on the oh, Xbox One. And there was no Modern Warfare 2 release. But yet again, we got some more gameplay. Well, just what is the playing it over a support on the Xbox One? Every point that you can download the description, if you would like to check it out for yourself. But is this real, and what actually do you do that? We're basically going to be spec. So when Black Ops 1 was re-released on the Xbox One, you saw you saw a huge spike in sales, and it definitely did dominate the charts for the first couple of days. And of course, it did die down like everything else has. You know, it's a couple Call of Duty game. People that want to play it will. People who have played it and don't want to play it again are doing that. But there definitely is a market because people love these games. Are spending into our lives. It's got a nostalgia factor. And for Black Ops 1 to come out, why wouldn't? Modern Warfare 2 come out. Now, maybe they're going to be waiting for this. Okay, so if you look at the timeline, we are right now in the Treyarch's game. Black Ops 3 is currently out, and look what we have. Black Ops 1 get released on the Xbox One. If, Infi if I was Infinity Ward and Activision, I would do something similar. So we already know Infinity Ward is coming out in November. We also have the Modern Warfare remaster coming out. Why release the Modern Warfare 2 game right now? We know there's some kind of goal. Do, and I'm assuming they're going to be doing this just because this is inevitably going to happen. Of course, Infinite Warfare's playtime and player base is going to be a lot of down. Not many people will be playing it around the January, February, March time as you can know, just have. Unless Infinite Warfare is complete garbage. So it's going to be a lot of work for it too on the Xbox One. That time frame, get everybody back into the Call of Duty and hey, you know, Modern Warfare 2 is fun, I'll give Infinite Warfare another try. That's what they're trying to do, trying to keep people addicted to the game. I know I'm just speculating right now, but I do have some belief to what I'm saying. It wouldn't be surprised, like, that's pretty much what they did for Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 3, and it'll be no active engine to call the game. That's always what we've been doing since COD 4. But there is another option, and this is the ideal scenario for me. As of right now, because you know who knows, it's terribly wrong. Quite possibly, we could be seeing the first time in the future of Modern Warfare 2 Remaster on the Xbox One and PS4. Who knows? That's a possibility as well. That's something that I do like, but right now, we have yet to see how good the Modern Warfare Remaster is. Because even though it is Call of Duty and it's sacred to all of us, and we love that game, the bottom of our heart, there is a possibility that whoever is remastering it really screws up the end game and defeats the whole person purpose of what Modern Warfare is. Who knows? It may be fantastic, but if they screw up the game's mechanics and uh, mess around with stuff that they shouldn't be, they could possibly ruin it. And that's also possible that they can do the Modern to remaster it. So if we really want to remaster it, we really want to re-release. Who knows? We have to see what's going on.